United Perigma UP is a federal republic on Terra Elada continent. It was established by the 1970 Unity Accord and comprises the states of Perigma, the Isle of Penguins and Mogia. The Isle of Penguins joined United Perigma on condition that they join and remain a member of the Terra Elada Continental Union TCU, and its human rights system. Following the recent withdrawal of United Peregrima from TCU, however, the Isle of Penguins declared its independence from United Perigma. The independence and statehood of the Isle of Penguins, where the human rights issues brought to the Terra Lada Human Rights Court occurred, is currently contested. For a very long time, United Perigma has strived to embrace the spirit of living in the UP community, where everyone's beliefs, religion, sexual orientation, opinions and expressions are tolerated as long as they do not present harm to others. This has, however, led to serious conflicts in the Isle of Penguins between Penguinatics, the religious majority that believes in Mother Penguin, and other people in UP. In the spirit of this tolerance, the federal government of UP passed the Federal Law on Education FLE, which aimed at fostering tolerance in schools. FLE defends freedom of expression but prohibits hate speech and the use of clothing that can menace the safety or security of students. Following the approval of FLE, a wave of violent protests broke out in which Penguinatics argued that the FLE is an affront to their right to religion because their religious dress, the robe of Galapagos Penguin, is deemed prohibited. There have also been intense debates in United Perigma about the right to a clean environment and whether non-human species are entitled to such a right. Unprecedented deaths of harks and penguins in the Isle of Penguins and other territories led UP to research and conclude that the deaths were caused by a cheaper version of pesticides manufactured by Rosa Pest Inc., a company that belongs to Mr. Motero Rosario. In April 2020, United Perigma passed the Federal Law on Pesticides, FLP, which permanently banned the cheap pesticides that killed the animals. Soon afterwards, a devastating crop failure occurred in the Isle of Penguins, which many attribute to the lack of access to pesticides. Some people challenged the ban in the Constitutional Court, arguing that the measure violates the local community's right to food, which triggered another wave of protests. Notwithstanding its challenges, UP has made advances in the medical field. After finding an artificial intelligence-empowered cure for blindness that's 99% safe, UP passed the Federal Law on Blindness FLB, that makes it compulsory for parents to register children for treatment. After a challenge on the constitutionality of this law, the Constitutional Court ruled that the best interests of the child take precedence. This, however, added to the grievances of many penguinatics, including the Rosario family, who believe that the cure may constitute an interference with the will of Mother Penguin. In response to the ongoing and rampant protests, United Perigma passed the Aposa Act, prohibiting assembly without prior approval or protesting on private premises. In order to evade this law in her protest against the government, Montero Rosario's daughter, Cartalia, decided to use holograms and humanoid robots dressed in the Galapago robes. While under the impression that these were real humans, police used lethal force during the protests. Under the instruction of the victims of these allegations, an NGO, Médicos de Caridade, has brought a case against the United Perigma in the Terra Elada Human Rights Court. MDC claims 1. United Perigma's federal law on pesticides violates the Rosario family and others' human rights. 2. United Perigma's federal law on blindness violates Cartalia Rosario's and her family's human rights. 3. United Perigma's federal law on education violates the rights of Cartalia and other penguinatics. 4. The prosecution under the Assembly Public Order and Security Act and United Perigma agents' use of lethal force on 3rd of May 2020 violates Cartalia Rosario and her friends' human rights.